Welcome back to Interesting Day, fellow adventurers. Today, we have an incredible story that will make you question what you thought was possible. Imagine living your entire life without ever seeing a woman. Hard to believe, right? Well, it's not a myth or a legend, but the true story of Mihailo Tolodos. He chose to live in complete seclusion, shielding himself from the sight of the opposite gender. In this episode, we'll unravel the mystery surrounding his extraordinary life and discover the profound impact it had on him and those who came to know his story. Get ready for a journey into the unimaginable as we explore the life of Mihailo Tolodos, the man who lived and died without ever seeing a woman. So, sit back, relax, and let's dive into this extraordinary adventure together. Our story begins in Greece, a captivating country that is full of culture and history. When you think of Greece, what comes to mind? Is it the beautiful beaches and islands like Mykonos, where you can relax and enjoy the clear blue waters and golden sandy shores? Or maybe it's the delicious food, like gyros, souvlaki, and moussaka, that showcase the amazing flavors of the Mediterranean. Greece is not just a place for beach lovers and food enthusiasts, but it also has a deep connection to its past. As we explore Greek history, we discover the important influence of famous people like Socrates and Plato. These great thinkers expanded our knowledge and shaped the field of philosophy for many years. And we can't forget about King Leonidas, who showed incredible bravery and leadership during the Battle of Thermopylae, becoming a symbol of courage and sacrifice. But within Greece's rich cultural heritage, there is a special place that stands out. Mount Athos is a community of monasteries located on the Athos Peninsula. It holds great religious and spiritual significance in Greece. This area is home to 20 historic monasteries, where monks live a life dedicated to faith and solitude. Mount Athos is known for its breathtaking natural beauty and the peaceful atmosphere it offers. It's like stepping into a world that has remained unchanged for centuries. The monastic community of Mount Athos, located in Greece, is an Eastern Orthodox community consisting of monks. It holds a unique status as an autonomous region with the rights of a decentralized administration, a region, and a municipality. Its territory encompasses the distant part of the Athos Peninsula, including the renowned Mount Athos. In Greek, it is commonly known as Agio Oris, meaning Holy Mountain, while Oris Athos refers specifically to the physical mountain and Hersonissos II Atho denotes the peninsula. This community comprises 20 monasteries along with the settlements that depend on them. These monasteries are home to approximately 2,000 Eastern Orthodox monks from Greece and various other countries, including Romania, Moldova, Georgia, Bulgaria, Montenegro, Serbia, and Russia. These monks lead an ascetic life on Athos, living in seclusion from the outside world. The Athenite monasteries possess a remarkable collection of well-preserved artifacts, rare books, ancient documents, and priceless artworks of significant historical value. Mount Athos has been recognized as a World Heritage Site since 1988. In 1856, just after four hours after his birth, his mother passed away. Since no father or other family members came forward, the boy was abandoned on the steps of a monastery atop Mount Athos. He was adopted by the monastery and the monks named him Mihailo Tolodos. Despite the challenging circumstances of his birth and abandonment, Mihailo Tolodos found solace and a new beginning within the walls of the monastery atop Mount Athos. The monks embraced him as one of their own, giving him the name Mihailo Tolodos and providing him with the care and guidance he needed. Growing up in the secluded environment of Mount Athos, Tolodos was immersed in the traditions and teachings of the Greek Orthodox Church from an early age. The monks became his family, 
offering him not only physical shelter, but also spiritual nourishment. He was taught the principles of faith, humility, and devotion, which formed the foundation of his character. The disciplinary code of the monastic community played a crucial role in shaping Toloto's upbringing. It instilled in him a sense of discipline, self-control, and reverence for the monastic way of life. The strict adherence to the rules and regulations of the community became the very backdrop against which Toloto's developed his values and beliefs. Within the confines of the monastery, Toloto's honed his skills and knowledge. He received education and training in various fields, including theology, philosophy, and the arts. The monks provided him with the opportunity to explore his interests and develop his talents, nurturing his intellectual and spiritual growth. Throughout his life, Tolodos remained dedicated to the monastic community that had embraced him as a child. He actively participated in the daily rituals, prayer services, and manual labor alongside his fellow monks. His deep-rooted connection to Mount Athos and its monastic traditions became an integral part of his identity. This secluded region has been subject to a unique rule for over a thousand years, prohibiting the entry of females. The origins of this rule date back to the 10th century and continue to be enforced, aiming to ensure the monk's commitment to a lifelong celibate existence. As Tolodos remained within the boundaries of Mount Athos, he never ventured beyond its borders. The strict adherence to the Avaton rule, which forbids women from entering, meant that Tolodos never had the opportunity to encounter a woman throughout his life. This aspect of his existence was a direct consequence of the ascetic lifestyle embraced by the monks, which rejected modern comforts and worldly distractions. The Avaton rule has not been without controversy. Over the years, there have been debates surrounding its perceived discrimination and outdated nature. Calls for a more inclusive approach to monasticism have emerged, advocating for the allowance of women to visit Mount Athos. Some argue that the exclusion of women goes against principles of equality and openness. Despite the limitations imposed by the Avaton rule, Mount Athos continues to draw numerous visitors each year. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, its rich history and spiritual traditions attract people from various backgrounds who seek to experience the unique atmosphere of this monastic enclave. What are your thoughts on Mount Athos and the captivating story of Mihailo Tolodos? Leave a comment below and let us know if you would like to visit this extraordinary island, which offers a truly unique experience. Thank you for joining us on Interesting Day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our thrilling adventures. See you next time as we join another exhilarating journey.